Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neil Gavin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create my nursing educational videos to help nursing students and nursing professionals like you with their studies. If that is something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you are already a subscriber though, I thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing educational videos twice a week. Please make sure to subscribe now and you hit the notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that would really help me know they like to see more contents like this without further ado you guys let's jump into the video hi everyone how are you guys doing i hope wherever you are right now whatever time zone you are watching me right now i wish you good morning good afternoon and good night just in case i don't get to see you like you're seeing on the screens right now we have another lecture for you and today we're talking about cardio heart uh heart and how does blood flow pathway happens today we're going to be answering how does the deoxygenated blood from the uh, from the rest of the body enters the heart and then to the lungs and then from the lungs back to the heart and to the rest of the body that's all the questions that, that we're going to be answering for today. But for the meantime, I would just like to grab this opportunity to thank all of you right now who's watching for uh, keep on supporting me on my channel. I really do appreciate all the love and support. You guys are amazing. We're really moving towards 25,000 subscribers right now. And none of that will be happen. Well, none of that will happen if it wasn't because of, of you guys. So maraming maraming salamat po. If you haven't already, please make sure to... Uh, uh, click that subscribe button and notification bell so that you won't miss out any of my uploads. Okay, magsimulan na tayo. Masyadong na tayo, masyadong ma uh, sinasabi. Naalala ko lang, naisipan ko lang gawa ng lecture material itong blood flow pathway na to. Kasi I have a supervisor before. She's like, if you don't know how does the blood flow pathway works and how does it start and ends, uh, basically, you're not in, you're not, uh, you're not yet an ICU nurse. So I was, I heard that story. I heard that, uh, what's this? It happens during her lecture. Uh, and I will never forget that because nasabi sa sarili ko, oh my God, buti na lang, alam ko siya. <laughs> so, yun lang. Uh, I really love anatomy and physiology back in, uh, when I was studying. And um, yeah. And I believe I, I made this promise that I will create this lecture for all of you guys. Medyo natagalan lang, pasensya naman. But yun lang. Okay, so gagawin natin pinadali at pinaisi ito. Huwag kayo mag-alala. Before we further proceed, kasi isang bagsakan na to, gusto ko lang ulit na bigyan kayo ng time to subscribe and hit that notification bell while I'm going to drink, okay? Have a sip of my coffee. Go! O oh, diba, ang bilis lang. Bilis-bilis lang. Alright. So, so you guys, this is your heart. This is your heart. Ha? Wala tayong ibang objective for today's video kung di malaman natin ang galaw ng dugo sa puso. Wow. So, before I further proceed, there's some key points that I want you to understand from me. We have some, some terms that I'm gonna be uh, telling you guys. We have here pulmonary circulation and the other term that I'm going to be uh, telling you today is you're going to hear you're going to hear from me is systemic circulation okay when we talk about your pulmonary before I further proceed when you talk about your pulmonary circulation you guys I want you to understand that really this is deoxygenated blood the oxygenated, ko pala misspell, the oxygenated blood entering the heart. When you talk about your systemic circulation, this is oxygenated blood from the heart to the rest of the body. Okay? So, yun po. So, so the blood flow pathway normally starts usually usually it technically starts from the um uh deoxygenated blood ha deoxygenated blood enters the enters the heart through what we call the biggest blood vessel that we have 
in our body, which is superior vena cava in your inferior vena cava. Ano pinagkaiba nila? What's the difference? Superior vena cava will receive all the deoxygenated blood from the upper extremities of the body. Your inferior vena, vena cava will receive deoxygenated blood from the lower extremities of the body. That's how they're going to enter the heart. And the very first chamber... Uh, chamber of the heart. Remember, we have four chambers of the heart. We have your right atrium, you have your right ventricle, your left atrium, and your left ventricle. Ito po sila. Okay? So, the very, uh, the deoxygenated blood will enter, excuse me, will enter the right atrium uh, through the blood vessel superior, your I, uh, SVC and your IVC. And uh, once uh, the deoxygenated blood enters your right atrium, your right atrium will then, nakikita nyo itong mga yellow na to. Dugu yan, ha? So, your right atrium will contract. And once your right atrium contract and the right ventricle relaxes, that motion will allow the opening of your tricuspid valve to open up. Tricuspid valve, you guys, that is the um, one of the four valves of our heart, which is involved in making sure that there's no backflow that is going to happen. Hindi pwedeng pabalik-balik yung dugo, may regurgitation na nangyayari, no? So, yun ang prim- primary function ng ating valves, which were the rest of the valves we're going to discuss that later. So, again, right atrium rela- uh, contracts, your right ventricle relaxes, the blood in that motion will allow the opening of your tricuspid valve. The deoxygenated blood will then pass through from right atrium to right ventricle. Okay? Once your right ventricle receives the blood, remember, yung right ventricle mo, it's relaxed pa. It will contract. Your right ventricle, once it contracts, it will allow the opening. It will signal the opening of the second valve of the heart, which is your pulmonic valve. Pulmonic valve will then open. Once your pulmonic valve open, this pulmonic valve is actually connected to the right and left arteries, which is pulmonary arteries to be specific. And this arteries, it will it is connected to the right and left uh, lungs. Anong gagawin? What will happen to the, the deoxygenated blood? Uh, why does it have to go to the lungs? Those deoxygenated blood will there will be uh, what's this uh, a process of gas exchange in the alveoli. Okay, once the gas exchange occur and it happened, the end result will be your oxygenated blood. Now, how does the oxygenated blood from the lungs go back to the heart? Now, the lungs is now going to give or transport the oxygenated rich blood back to the heart through our, nakikita nyo to, pulmonary veins. There's actually left and right. Ito siya, four... Four, four, four. Pulmonary veins. That pulmonary veins is actually connected to the third chamber of the heart, which is left atrium. You see the holes here? Yeah. Yun yung kanyang connection, yung end point niya. So, the left atrium, actually, the first, the third chamber of the heart that receives oxygenated blood. So, anong gagawin ng what will left atrium will do? Once it receives the oxygenated blood, it will contract. Once it contracts and the left ventricle will relax. Hindi po po pwedeng si left atrium mo contract tapos si left ventricle mo contract. No, kailangan may, meron silang synchronicity. So, again, once your left atrium contracts, your left ventricle will relax. It will allow the opening of the third valve of the heart, which is your mitral valve. Sa ibang libro, makikita nyo sila by cuspid. Huwag malilito. Pareho lang yan sila. Okay? So, again, what's the purpose of your valves? The valves of the heart to avoid backflow. Para hindi magre-regurgitate ang mga dugo. Okay. So, you see that the uh, oxygenated blood will enter the left ventricle. Nasa na tayo? Nasa left ventricle na. Nasa fifth step na. Your left ventricle, anong gagawin niya doon sa oxygenated blood? What does it 
do. So it will contract. Once it contracts, it will signal the fourth valve of the heart to open. Para tong pinto. This is your aortic valve. Okay? Once it opens, it <laughs> it will push the oxygenated blood to this aortic valve. This is actually leading towards your aorta, which is one of the biggest blood vessels in our body. Aorta. This aorta is connected to the rest of the body, upper and lower, which your systemic circulation will occur. Min- meaning, yung oxygen-rich blood na yon, distribute na sa mga vital organs, your lungs, your kidneys, your uh, brain, all of those good stuff, including tissues and cells. Okay? Malinaw ba tayo doon? Hindi kayo nalito. Susungusungo dyan. <laughs> Okay, so kung nahirapan ka doon sa flow na yon, sa ginawa kong yun, huwag ka mag-alala because I have here a step-by-step and I'm gonna read it to you. So, anim lang naman po ang step ng blood flow pathway. Okay, pinadali ko na. Number one step, the oxygenated blood from the body enters the SVC and IVC. Ito po yung tinatawag kong pulmonary circulation. Parehas lang sila. Okay. After that, step two ng blood flow rate, uh, blood flow pathway, the blood flows into the right atrium through the tricuspid valve. Remember, this is the first valve of the heart. And into the right ventricle. Yung right ventricle mo naman, which is the third step, it is pumped through the pulmonic valve. Pulmonic valve natin, konektado yan sa pulmonary arteries into the left and right pulmonary arteries and into the left and right lungs it becomes oxygenated and release release co2 do nangyayari yung gas exchange sa alveoli ang fourth step natin oh nagkaroon na ng gas exchange oxygen rich blood travels from the lungs from the lungs through the pulmonary veins and into the left atrium so left atrium mo ang magre-receive ng oxygenated blood Okay, hindi si right atrium. Now, from the left atrium and the blood, which is your fifth step, the blood moves through the mitral valve and into the left ventricle. Lastly, the left ventricle pumps the blood through the aortic valve and out to the rest of the body. Here are some few reminders that I want, I want you to remember. Pulmonary arteries carries the oxygenated blood to the lungs. Pulmonary veins carry oxygenated blood to the atria. Once again, doon lang natatapos ang ating discussion for today. I hope this guy, uh, this one help you guys, especially sa mga first year or second year student ng nag-aaral ng anatomy and physiology. At doon na rin sa mga nurses. Okay? So, review-review tayo. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gave except for my TikTok account, which is Neil Gave Official. And I will see you again next week for another lecture. You have a good one.